So there's no astro for me tonight, even though it could be a clear sky. That's because some of my gear has been packed away for a trip I'm going off on tomorrow. I'm going up to Northumberland. Uh, it's very close to the Northumberland National Park, which has dark sky status. It's one of the largest in Europe, actually. And with no moon this coming week, all I'm hoping for is some clear skies. I'm Simon, and you're watching Simon's Astro. Now at my first pit stop, we're here at the Peter Barrow Services. We've been on the road about an hour and a half. It's time for a coffee. So feeling a lot better now. Happy Costa Coffee and a bacon roll. So, so I'm wearing my new UK Cloud Magnets hat that I won on a raffle. here at Broomish Valley Cottages and day one it looks like it's going to be a clear sky so I will hopefully be doing some imaging tonight. And yes my gear has got its own bedroom this just happens to be a spare room so all my gear Got his own bed. So I can't quite believe it actually. First night here and I got a beautiful clear sky. I'm just gonna make a slight adjustment to the rig so I can get it balanced. Just gotta move this bar down a little so that the scope is more in the centre of the bar. Where it sits on the saddle, it's camera heavy, so I need to just move that up a little bit. So I made that quick adjustment and I'll get it sit on the mount. That's better, I've got it perfectly balanced now. Should sit there like that. Yeah, that's much better. I've got my trusty Jaggery battery here for my portable power. It powers everything nicely. I've got a splitter in there, and that's giving me 12 volts up to my ASI uh, Pro, and then a separate 12 volt supply to the mount. I like to supply the mount separately and everything seems to be working fine. So the rig I've got here is the HEQ5 Pro mount and that's on the uh, two inch tripod legs. Um, the camera is the 2600 MC Pro and the scope is the Red Cat 51 and that's the mini guide scope the 30mm f4 with the USB 3 uh, mono camera as the 120 that is the rig so this is the view of the place we've got here we're here for a week it's a nice lake down there beautiful scenery around here there's horses and sheep in this field somewhere it was earlier and if we keep getting clear skies like this, that will be fantastic. Okay, so all the wires are now connected and I'm basically ready to go. I just gotta wait for it to get dark enough to follow a line and then I can slew to my star to focus which will be propeller 
and then get on to my target which will be the heart and soul nebula just gonna wait for it to get dark now while I've been waiting there's some menacing looking clouds over there even worse over the hills just hoping it stays clear around here that's north, I've got a polar line to the North Star. A bit of wispy cloud up there, that should go. But unfortunately my target is just over the top of those trees. So I'm really hoping it stays clear, but fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes. So I'm all set up, all the cables are in. I've polar aligned and I've just slid round to Capella so I can do my focus and then I can get onto my target. As you can see, I'm nicely focused. Just using the baton off mask. They're really good. They really clearly define focus point there. Uh, I actually got that from Luke, from Luke and Medigo. That's uh, one of his 3D printed baton off masks that fits my Red Cat 51. It's actually a lot better than the William Optics mask that come with the scope. So I can highly recommend the uh, printed baton off masks that you can get from Luke go and check out his channel so this is my target this is the heart and soul nebula so i finally got shooting on the heart and soul nebula got to be quiet because i've got neighbors next door now I better watch the first 10 minute sub come up there it is oh it's looking good i think we're here in either it's a bottle two or bottle three sky and it really is dark out here, it's lovely. Such good seeing. It's such a shame I'm gonna lose this target in about an hour. It took so long before I could get started on it due to the clouds. Probably only gonna get maybe an hour and a half tops. I was hoping to get a lot more, but the target's getting so low in the sky. It's gonna be way too low to shoot. Plus there's a hedge here that I think I'm gonna be shooting if I'm not careful, so I'm just gonna to have to make the best of it. It's gone midnight now and my target is so low in the sky that I'm going to have to stop shooting that and choose another target. So I'm going to quickly do that and get it going and hopefully run the rig to about four in the morning. Okay, so I'm now slewing to my second target, which is the North American Nebula. That's NGC 7000. Okay, so the first 10 minute sub is about to pop up on the North American Nebula. Um, just gonna check this out. And if it's okay, I'm gonna leave it running. It's now about 20 to one in the morning. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. And I'm pleased with that. It's framed up nicely, so I'm gonna let that run now till about four. We'll be getting light by then anyway, so I'm not going to go in and try and get my head down for a few hours. I'll come back out around about four-ish and take it all the way. Yeah, this is a really lovely place we've got here. It's a nice stone brick cottage here in Northumberland. Lovely area, very dark. No light pollution at all. We've got the lake down there. Very picturesque place. Very quiet, apart from the wildlife you can probably hear. But more importantly, when it's dark here, it is really dark. It's great. So I think it's well worth the journey up here for me. The 
Okay, so I'm setting the rig up again for the second night. And I'm going back on the Heart and Soul Nebula tonight. I can probably get a couple of hours on it. And then I'm going to swap targets. And I'm going to go for the Marcarius chain. And hopefully I'm going to run that for about four in the morning. I'm going to take advantage of the really dark skies here. This is a Bortle 2 stroke 3. And it really is very dark, I can tell you. It's amazing to see so many more stars than what I see even at home where I'm a Bortle 4, which is still pretty good. But this is very good. So all being well, the clouds will stay away. It's nice and clear now, so I'm getting completely set up and ready. So the minute it's dark enough, I plan to start shooting and hopefully have a really good night. Well, I just discovered the place I'm staying at. Looks like they're building an observatory. This looks rather interesting. Yep, definitely an observatory. That's the cottage we're staying at. Looks like I'm gonna have to come back here again. So this is the first image of night two coming up of the Heart and Soul Nebula. This is a 10 minute sub. Uh, that looks nice. So I've got them both nicely in the frame there. Fit a treat, that's with the Red Cat 51 at 250 mil. Right, let's see how many of those I can get before I lose the target. It's going to get quite low, it's going to get below 25 degrees and by then it'll probably be disappearing behind the trees. One step as I take it sweeps me away Okay, I couldn't resist her. I am at the beach. A piece in your madness, I am. A rush through my body. Well, I'm treating tonight like a bonus. Because I've already had two clear nights here in Northumberland. And you come all this way and it's not a guarantee you're going to get a clear night. It's a six hour drive here. And I could have got here and it could have been raining for the week. But this is the third clear night as you can see all around me. It's looking pretty clear, pretty good. So I'm getting excited to get a third night. Um, I've had two nights on the Heart and Soul. I was going to try and get on the Heart and Soul the other night but the clouds rolled in, so I'm gonna try uh, for the third night. So I'm now gonna set the HEQ5 rig up and just wait for it to get dark. The laptop is just for my polar alignment. I have the my polar here, which I find fantastic. And then I'm using the ASI Air Pro to run everything. And there's two power packs there and they are for the two two heater straps one on the guide scope and one on the main scope so this is my fourth and final night i'm going home tomorrow and i'm lucky to have had four nights out of seven so i brought my equipment all this way up here to northumberland and i consider myself lucky to have been out under these dark skies and they have been really nice and dark for four nights so i'm really not complaining so if the sky stays clear i hope to get another couple of hours on my image tonight and 
at the end of it I should hopefully have a couple of nice images to show you so it just leaves me to say thanks very much for watching I really hope you like the video and I hope you like the images uh, thanks to all my subscribers it's much appreciated if you really like this kind of thing and you want to see more please consider subscribing that would be much appreciated and I wish you all clear skies Thank you.